I'm a loser. Thursday morning here from Harmon. We are coming to you with the link, and as we inch towards the top of the hour, we are going to go out to Upper Tumon to catch up with a very good friend of mine, Andrew Gale, who has got a very outstanding plan to let you, if you are eligible, access the world. So, Andrew, hop a day. Good to see you, man. It's been a while. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? Uh, we're, we're doing all right here. First of all, how are things uh, with your team over there at like GTA? Because I know you, you guys have been like working nonstop. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the pandemic certainly um, caused us to uh, ramp up certain parts of our business. Well, again, like any like like other businesses, certain parts are we're not as busy. But uh, no, we're we're still you know dealing with uh, with what we can. We we still have a portion of our workforce that's working remotely. I'm I'm in my office today, but you know we we'll, we allow ourselves uh, allow our teams to that can work remotely. Uh, you know if they're able to work remotely, we let them. You know certain parts of our team that just can't work remotely. So. Exactly. We're doing all right. Probably a really big part, undoubtedly, of that is, is the team that's actually keeping the network up, which is why we're having you on today, because you guys have actually opted in uh, to the Federal Emergency Broadband Benefit Program, which is going to help eligible families get Internet access to their house. Because, I mean, you know, you and I, we had a podcast about, like, what, two, three years ago when you were basically breaking it down and said, you know, the Internet used to be a luxury item. It's basically a utility now. I mean, there's no other way to look at it. Yeah, and, and you know the pandemic really, really exemplified that. It really, uh, it really shone a light on the the requirements for, particularly with you know for remote learning, remote working, you know, and, and continued you know, what was driving the growth was the entertainment side. So, um, so that's uh, so that part of our business was was really growing during during the pandemic, and we were you know struggling to meet up with with demands, but. Uh, but what's happened now is the uh, the FCC has recognized this that the nationwide has happened. You know, and the, the, and so what they've come up with is a temporary program. It's called this emergency uh, broadband benefit, and it allows for a fifty dollars subsidy for qualified households. Mm -hmm. A typical the, the typical qualified household you think it would be someone who's eligible for Lifeline, which means they're they're eligible based on the, the amount the the household income, how much household income they make, etc. Um, but what's interesting about this particular temporary program is it also allows for households that were impacted, that were financially impacted due to the pandemic specifically, if their household income was was impacted, such that and then it, and it's documented such that if you received any P, uh, PUA funds, if you got any unemployment benefits due to the pandemic then you'd be eligible for this, for this program. As long as you didn't make, you know, as long as your individual taxpayer was below $99,000 or married filing jointly was below 198,000, mm -hmm. which is a large portion of our population. For sure. Fall into that. We know that I think uh, the, the stats I read um, from the Department of Labor says something like 30,000 residents on the island have, were able to partic participate in that PUA program. Mm -hmm. So there's a big chunk of, of people that are eligible for these types of services that normally wouldn't have been eligible for life, typical lifeline services. Mm -hmm. But uh, so that's why we wanted to get the word out and let, and let our customers know and let people know that this federal program is available now. It's a $50 subsidy for broadband service that you may have. And um, that uh, it'll go for the wire, a wireline or wireless broadband service. And and give us a call and uh, to see if you're you're uh, you want if you're eligible or if you have any questions and so we can start participating we can get you enrolled if you participate if you're eligible and you can start getting this discount. This yeah, discount. I'm sure people are going to have like a kajillion different questions, all different types of use cases. So I just wanted to get you on maybe do like a quick uh, you know FAQ about what some of the more um, common questions that are probably going to bubble up are. And enrollment actually began with GTA uh, yesterday for this program. So yeah. how can yeah, people enroll? So, yeah, so they can give us a call. We can we can do it via the phone, online, in person, right? Those are the three ways that, w that we're doing it um, uh, today. Uh, there's a there's a um, website called getemergencybroadband.org. That's the national website, and there's more information about eligibility uh, and signing up on that website as well. But I would encourage our customers just to give us a call locally. Uh, our, our staff is, is ready to answer those questions. And it can take you to the next step. Also, check again. Check our website, uh, gta.net. Mm -hmm. Now, do they have to be uh, to to be recognized as eligible for this program? Do families have to bring like any type of supporting documentation, or say like you know, uh, yeah. like a receipt yeah, or anything? There, there's going to be that. Uh, the, the specific details of the type of documentations, uh, you know, the, give us a call and, or go online to, to get that. 
Uh, if it's, uh, you know, if you're on Kua, then we'll need to see some, some form of statement or some form of proof. Again, we're, this is part of a national um, program. So we'll, we have to follow the rules that the FCC and, and the actually the USAC, the Universal Services Administration Corporation, have set for this particular program. Again, what will happen is we will extend, once we find out someone's eligible and we'll sign them up, we will extend the discount to them and then we'll get reimbursed by the federal government. Mm -hmm. And so this Definitely. isn't like some, uh, just, just to make sure people understand the mechanics of the program, this isn't like some uh, special temporary plan that they're being rolled over to with, you know, like a, no. some, some sort of like cap on data transfer or bandwidth or anything like that. You get your existing data plan with GTA existing, and, existing and you knock off 50 bucks. Yeah, and one of the rules for us as a participating carrier is it had to have a, you know, it had to be a plan that was in place in, in back in December. So it's existing plans. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not looking at this to be, hey, go out and create a bunch of new plans for this. No, no, it says this is meant to be a temporary plan for existing subscribers on existing plans. Mm -hmm. um, it actually means for existing plans. We can't go create new plans. Now, we can have new people sign up for plans, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we can enroll them if they're eligible so they can participate in this program. Um, but it has to be in a plan that was existed yeah, and that's our, our plans all existed back in December. Anyway. Right. Well, um, Andrew, my, my camera guy, DJ Joser here, he's off camera, obviously, but he's doing the happy dance, like for every word you're saying right now. So he's going to be down there, I'm sure, as soon as we're off the air at 10 o'clock. But that was going to be my next question is, you know, for, for new peop, new customers that may that may just sign up and everything like that, they can they can qualify as well. Sure, sure. If they qualify, we can sign up new customers as well. This is ex new and existing customers. It's just the one the one stipulation for us is we couldn't create a bunch of new plans for it. We had to be, it had to be an existing plan. Right. That's a fantastic program. So, uh, real quick, how can people um, contact you? Um, your your URL, your social media handles, and your uh, phone number, if you could. Sure. GTA.net. Uh, we have live chat on the, on GTA.net if you prefer. We have uh, give us a call at our call center. We also have WhatsApp four eight nine talk. If you want to do WhatsApp with us and get more information, uh, start a conversation that way, uh, as well as come into any of our stores. All right, fantastic. I've, I've used your live talk anyway for, for tech support when I've had to like make use of that and everything. I was amazed at how fast I was in and out. They're real pros. Yeah, we, we that that one's getting more and more popular, the, the mm -hmm. live chat. All right, Andrew, thanks a lot, man. Gr great service you guys are providing the community. Thank you much. Thanks, Jason. Take care. All right, have a great day. There you go. Andrew Gill, GTA. Uh, it's 9.59. Viewers on KUAM-TV, thank you for jamming with us on the link, which is proudly brought to you by East West.